What's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Zetro's Toxic Vault. And uh, I'm going to be a stoner today anyway. Well, I'm a stoner every day, but this episode's going to be about stoner, you know, being a stoner. Is this a Cheech and Chong this episode? Is a, it could be. A, this is, could be your, like, an asterisk next to it. H. I do have my Cheech and Chong sweatshirt on that I proudly That's wear. That's appropriate. Yeah, definitely. So I like weed. Everybody knows that I like weed. It's legal now here well, in California. Where we are. We're in Zetro's Toxic Vault. It is goddamn legal. So, you know, I got nice big fat buds right here. Some of my pipe right there. You're going to show us something We're revolutionary. Gonna, I'm gonna show you, that's not really revolutionary, but... Um, for uh, me, it is. I, well, maybe for some of you, it is. But I get a lot of times, you know, I smoke weed everywhere. And in a lot of places, it's so highly illegal that I need to get rid of things. I like don't always have papers. You don't. You can't always get. You know, like a rolling paper. Somewhere. And when you're in Europe, when you cross the border, you gotta get rid you of all the paraphernalia. Yeah. You can't even have paper. It's so just, you can't throw away pipes because right. it gets you expensive. You can't carry a pipe. It's got res. It's resonated. You know, it smells. So, um, I mean, p- some people use potatoes and apples, and we'll probably do an episode like that. But um, I do a s- different way. I've always made them out of cans, and I'm going to show everybody right now how I do it because we always have Coca-Cola on, and we are Coke Exodus, only Coke products. And I and you drink Coke Zero. Coke Zero. If they put a T in there, it would be Coke Zetro. I have Coke Zetro right there. And um, there's always a can around, and easy to dispose of, easy to smash, easy to throw away. So I am going to show everyone now which I'm, I'm sure most of you guys know this how to do one of these but i'm going to show you how i make my can and i mean i'll keep a can for a couple of days and you learn this from a know, fan right you know like that now well i learned some of it from a fan i've been doing it forever oh, you but i learned this it. one part from a fan so i'm gonna get into that right now here's your can your coke zero coke zetro i like to call them Typical aluminum can. You get them in every country this way. In America, they're Diet Coke. In Europe, they're Coca-Cola Light in some places. And I learned a little trick a couple of years ago. Now, I always used to have to, like, track down a pin or something for this. But this girl in uh, Slovenia showed me this trick, and I'm going to show it to all you now. And the whole thing is inclusive. You don't need a pin. And this is, I'm going to show you. This is a very important part. So this is how it starts. You take the tab, which is right here, and you bend it up until it comes off like that. And on the top of the can where there's going to be a smaller hole and a bigger hole, you take the bigger hole side like that, and you just bend it kind of diagonally, kind of back and forth a little ways. It's aluminum, and I'm sure some of you people out there are strong, and then eventually... It breaks off. It breaks off. And it leaves you two jagged edges. So now you don't have to walk up to somebody and take a pin off of their jacket or say, hey, man, has anybody got a sharp knife or something? You have this. Which makes bigger holes sometimes, too. Exactly. And then you stick it into our... And you ruin it. And you ruin it. Yes. This makes perfect... It's got a perfect little jag edge. So now you have the can. This is your mouthpiece, obviously. That's how you're going to draw. So you want to take and make a little indentation. And you're going to do that right in the front, kind of even with the hole. You're experienced, huh? Dude, come on. I do one of these every <laughs> fucking tour. You kidding me? Tom Hunting hates it because he thinks that we're, that we're um, inhaling all the paint. So now you kind of have a little space here. It's catty corner to, to the hole. And then you just start making little holes, just like you would. So that's like a your screen. screen. A screen, just like a little hole, so it doesn't come running through. And this really counts when you're in Europe because sometimes you can't me, get pot, me. but you get hash. You get ha- exactly. And then you can get the hash right on the top. So you make some holes right there. And I, myself, I like a carburetor, so I put a carburetor right here on the side. Now you've got your holes on the top made, your little area there. Well, you're going to crush up some weed for me there, bro? Sure I got will. my handy weed over there. And your carb right here. 
And if you want, you could make more holes or less holes, you know, and then you can always take your time, like kind of like making it even. Try not to make a hole in here because you want to keep that um, – you want to keep that continuity? We got weed there, Walt? Yeah, uh, ready for it. And then what's great is then you can just take the weed and put it right on the top there from your little holes. And and if you make those little concaves like you see there, it'll hold it in. And This is like fast times at Exodus High. I don't I don't know if it's fast times at Exodus High, but it's always getting Zetro High. And then you try it like, voila. Oh, it looks like a good hit there. And there you go. Zetro Pipe 101. You can do this anywhere. Even think that you're at home and you fucking misplace your pipe or your bong. But you got a Coke can or a beer can. There you go. And plus you get a killer fucking hit off that. And it's Wanna disposable. It not today. He's not hitting it today. And it's disposable. And you can still... What's good is you can burn through it, and then you can still use it to recycle. You can still put it in your recycle pin, and you can still get money for it. And that's a good thing. So after you're done, the Coke gets its use from the can or beer, whatever you're using. And right before the border, you toss it. And then right before it. the border, you toss it out, or you can just recycle it. So it's very environmental, and I love that being environmental. So there you go. What, do you got any comments on that, Walt? That reminds me of the time that I sold some weed to Nicholas Cage. Oh, that's right. You remember that? Yeah, um, back in the 80s. <laughs> well, the reason that Walt was on tour with us so much is because Walter had one of those kind of jobs. Walter sold weed. And Nicholas Cage was in San Francisco filming Kiss of the Vampire. And he knew somebody who knew somebody who knew that Walt had weed. <laughs> and so Good weed. Good killer weed, too. And Walt, shit, you got to sell weed to Nick. You get to do a show with Zetro, and you sold weed to Nicolas Cage. That's right. That's yeah, right. Amazing. Take pride in that. That's that's the kind of good thing. So leave me some comments, all you stoners. Talk about other ways that you guys smoke weed when you have to or in the pinch and that sort of thing. And we'll talk about that on comments. Obviously, sign up for my channel. And um, like always... We're going to be talking everything. We're going to be talking weed all the time. So you never know what you're going to talk about. You right? never know. You just you just never know when you're in the vault. So, you know, maybe we should go get the spider high. We could take hits and blow it. I'm thinking he'd mellow out from that. Well, he's mellow Might today, piss though. Him off. Nah, yeah. Anyway. All right, you guys. We'll see you guys in the vault real soon. Mm -hmm.